love Cinderella but just wish it had more eyeballs? Then stick around for the Brothers Grimm One Eyes, Two Eyes, Three Eyes here on But the Fairy Tales with Liz. Ding! Once upon a time, there was a woman who had three daughters. The eldest was named One Eye because she had one eye in the middle of her forehead. Another was called Two Eyes because she had two eyes like you and me. The third daughter was named Three Eyes because she had, well, you can probably figure it out. I have a lot of questions about this naming system, but I will get no answers, so we shall move on. Now, due to their singularity, One Eye and Three Eyes thought they were hot shit. And their mother agreed with them. They felt themselves all high and mighty, while they looked way down on their two-eyed sister. Two Eyes, we do not accept you among our ranks. You're no better than the rest of the common folk with two normal eyes. Truly, you are an embarrassment. But Mom only has two eyes. Don't talk back to your mother. So the family treated Two Eyes like a hated servant. She was abused, she was given all the hand-me-downs, she was given the scraps of meals. Luckily, like many kind folk in these tales, she was about to meet an ally. We interrupt this fairy tale for an urgent message. Please do not take action until the end of the fairy tale so we get this video out to as many fairy godmothers as possible. Thank you, and back to the story. One day, when Two Eyes was sent to the field to tend to the family's goats, she found herself overcome with grief at her hunger and circumstances. As she sobbed, she noticed a woman appear next to her. Two Eyes, why are you crying? Why wouldn't I cry? I'm cursed with two eyes like every other common person. And my family treats me like shit because of it. I have barely eaten. I am so hungry. Well, get this, sweetheart. You got a magic goat in your hands. A magic goat? A magic goat! You'll never go hungry as long as you have that goat by your side. Just tell him these magic words. Little goat, if you are able, won't you stalk my dining table? Poof! Check it! Whoa! But what'll I do when I'm done? My family will discover all these leftover tables of food. Just tell the goat. Little goat, if you are able, 86 my dining table. Poof! How you like me now? The goat really knew how to provide, too. Not only did Two Eyes get a little table with food, but it had a gorgeous dinnerware set, a white tablecloth, and everything was fresh and Michelin approved. And when she was all done and chanted the rhyme, it disappeared in a jiffy. With nary a dish to wash. Not bad, right? Unfortunately, Two Eyes didn't think everything through, and her family would soon discover her secret. What Two Eyes neglected to take into consideration was that she needed to conceal from her sisters that she was being regularly fed. For her sisters continued to leave her scraps for dinner, but Two Eyes no longer had the hunger to eat them. After a few days had passed, her sisters noticed the scraps being left behind. What the fuck is going on with boring eyes? Is she no longer grateful for the crumbs we leave her? Ugh, that little bitch is probably finding food from somewhere. Well, we can't have that. I agree. Let's stake her out and find out what she's been up to. All right, I'll go out to the field tomorrow and keep an eye on her. <laughs> and I'll let mom know what's going on. But let me know if you need an extra set of eyes. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, boring eyes. I'm supervising your shepherding today. Two Eyes took her sister on a long journey to the fields with her goat. And when they got there, she proposed they stop and rest for a bit. You look a little tired. Do you want to stop and rest here and I can sing to you? Well, it was a long walk and the sun is so hot, so rest would do me good. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our ride. One eye fell asleep to her singing. And while she was asleep, two eyes and the goat made up her meal and got rid of it. One Eye was forced to tell her mother and sister that she fell asleep, and they had no idea still how Two Eyes was getting to eat her fill. That's all right. I'll do it. <laughs> the next day, when Two Eyes set out with her goat, Three Eyes followed. So Two Eyes tried the same lullaby trick with Three Eyes. I want something else to get me through this semi-charmed kind of life, baby. And Three Eyes did fall asleep, but her third eye was sneaky. It stayed awake while she rested the other two. She saw the whole fucking thing and tattled to her mom that night. So you think you're better than us with your fancy table and your fancy dinner and your fancy goat? Funny, because I have a craving for goat tonight. And she ran out to the stable with a knife. <laughs> and she stuck the goat in the heart until it was dead. Two eyes rushed to the field to cry it out, and the mysterious woman appeared by her side once more. Two eyes, why are you crying? Why wouldn't I cry? My mom killed my magic goat, and I'm back to square one, plus I'm pretty bummed about my goat and all. 
okay, what you need to do is you need to have your sisters give you the goat's guts and bury those in the front yard. What? Then abruptly the woman vanished. Sisters, would you give me my goat's intestines to remember him by? All right, you fucking weirdo. Two eyes buried the goat's remains in the front yard as instructed. And the next morning where she buried them, a gorgeous tree of silver and gold with golden apples had grown in its place. One eye, get up there and bring back some of those golden apples. The girl tried, but the tree seemed to have a mind of its own. Every time one eye reached up for something, it would swipe its branches away. Hmm, maybe this is a hand-eye coordination issue? Three eyes, you try. You should have three times the skill. But the tree was too wily for three eyes as well, so Mother decided she would have a crack at it. But naturally, she failed as well. Maybe I should try? <laughs> good luck. You two-eyed turd. The tree stood perfectly still for two eyes, allowing her to collect a whole apron full of golden apples. But of course her family didn't appreciate it, and they neglected to let her have any of the golden apples. Well, fuck you two. One day, while the family was chilling out under the tree, a handsome knight rode by. Two eyes, hide yourself! We don't want to be seen with you! The family shoved two eyes under an empty barrel, but she nicked a couple of golden apples on the way. Wow, check out this golden tree! A single branch would leave you rich for life! So, the tree belongs to us. Would you like a branch to take along? Bold of the family to assume they'd be able to handle the tree this time. Ow! It sure doesn't seem like you have any ownership over this thing. It is, though! It's all ours! All right, me. Time to shine! Two Eyes was finally ready to stand up for herself, so she rolled a couple of those golden apples out of the barrel so they went to the knight's feet. Where the fuck did these golden apples come from? Because you three assholes didn't do shit. Ugh, well, we have a sister, but she only has two eyes, so she's obviously not worthy of your attention. Okay, that's not a thing. Two eyes, can I meet you? Hi there. Holy mama, you're as gorgeous as that golden tree. Are you able to negotiate with that thing? Hell yes, I can. Check it out. Sweet, what can I give you in return? Well, these motherfuckers starve me and beat me. So if you can take me far away from them, consider the debt paid. Get on my horse, baby. The knight took two eyes back to his family estate. Whatever. At least we still have the tree. Peace out, you bad bitches. The tree indeed vanished the day after two eyes left the family, and it reappeared at her new home. The knight's family took her in happily and treated her as one of their own. Eventually, the knight and two eyes got married, of course, and they lived a lovely life together. One day after many years, two eyes greeted a couple of beggar women at her door. She looked into their faces and realized they were her own sisters, one eye and three eyes. She took them in and treated them with kindness. And her forgiveness and charity, combined with their own misfortune, finally melted the icy sisters' hearts. The end. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz.